Hello everybody, it's Dustin here with Pickbox. And guess what? Our DSLR photo booth attachment to any of our photo booths is ready for you. And it's out now. So we're back, right? Let's talk a little bit about the DSLR hookup to your Pickbox products. So what's great here is you got your M50 right here, right now, you can zoom which is awesome. Get to zoom it. You got your 11 inch iPad hooked up to your M50. Cool, it tilts, yes. So we got tilting so you can get tall people, short people, you got it, you can get them all. And then we also have our flash. So you can do your own flash. We have a products here, but hooked up to your M50 and it syncs when you take your photo. And so now you got it all. You got a professional setup with your M50, your 11 inch and your flash. Let's go. Okay, everybody, here's a couple things that you're gonna need or that are in included with your package already. So your DSLR, here's your cover. So you got your cover that goes on the back. You got your mount, if it's something that you want that you can hook up your flash to. That's your mount if you have an older base that doesn't have the new holes to it, but the new base now has the new holes, so you won't need the mount. But in case you do it, there's your mount. Okay, you're gonna need to purchase a hot shoe so that you can sync it to your flash. You're also gonna need some type of a hub to connect your camera to the iPad as well as to charge. Okay, we're gonna have this included. Here's your battery hookup for your M50 camera. Then you're gonna need a cord that hooks up to your hub and that hooks up to your camera. Hey everybody, here's a couple steps that will get you started in getting your DSLR booth ready to go. So the first thing is, is you're gonna take your door off your booth, okay? You're gonna add the mount that you see here. This is your mount to your camera. You're gonna get two screws. You're gonna add that mount as we do it here. You don't have to over tighten it. Just, just give a little, little squeeze and then you're good to go. Okay, next step, we'll move to the booth. Okay, so we're back. So let's go over what you have inside your photo booth here. Okay, so power to your camera, your M50, and then you got power to your iPad. So we get our hub that you're gonna need to purchase. We're gonna include an angle USB-C to USB-C, and then you got your cord that will go to your hub and then to your camera so that they're connected to the iPad. Okay, so first thing I put in, USB-C, so now we have the angle in there. Then I'll attach our USB that goes to the camera. I'll make sure that however my hub is, you might put into the USB-C, not correct. You wanna put it into the charging port if you put it in the other one, it will look, it won't, won't charge. So you got to make sure. Okay. And then now you have your cord here. So now you grab your door, which I've already stuck in my iPad. Okay. I'm going to add in the angled so that we're all hooked up. Okay. Perfect. So you're going to then hook up your iPad with your angle there. You got a bunch of room inside the back side of your iPad. And then you're gonna make sure you slide in all your cords. I like a little bit longer of a cord to give me a little bit more room to play around with it so that I can have more play. I get my charging cord. And then I'll get that one also to come out. Sneak everything in there so that I have it. Try not to get your cords all binned up, but get them all in there. Sneak them in there. And then now you're good here now, once you do that, so now you have your cords here, and then we will secure your door with your four thumb screws. Okay, everybody, so we're back, okay? So the door has been secured with our thumb screws. We're now grab our M50 camera. You can tell our M50 camera already has the hot shoe on top of it. Um, we'll be able to send you that link if you request it. This one fits great into the booth. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is actually get my camera in place. There's two hookups that I have to do. One is for the power, 
I come in here, there's a little teeny hole there that goes right into your battery. The second one is to your USB that goes to your hub. And I'll do the top one. The bottom one's HDMI. The top one is for your USB hookup. Once I have those hooked up, then you, this will be included. It's a little teeny screw that goes into the bottom. Okay, I just kind of lift it up a little bit just so I can see the mount. And then I just get it screwed in. I can do it hand tight, it's fine. I like to leave my camera not all the way tight in there, just so I can adjust it if needed before I give it a nice tight. Okay, so now you have everything in there. You can kind of see, you got your USB hookup to your hub, you got your power. So now everything is ready to go and look at the room that we have with your hot shoe. Um, you can also add external things to there. And then our next step, we'll put on the cover. Okay, so now here's your cover. Um, it's preference. Some people want the cover on, so it gives you a nice clean look. Some people like it open so that they can see what your camera's doing. Um, so pretty simple for us. It does depend on what your um, mini USB is here hooked up, is that if it extrudes out, then you're not gonna be able to get the cover on. So you want one here that allows the cord to be bent down so that you have plenty of room. And then you just undo the thumb screws just a tad so that it can slide in. And then we'll tighten it in. And then we'll go on this side and get this one tightened it in. Okay, perfect, there you go. Okay, everybody, let's talk a little bit about the different bases for the hookup for the flash. So if you have um, an older pearl or older reflection, you're not gonna have these two mounts. These two mounts easily allow you to hook on the flash. If you don't have that, don't worry. We have our new bracket here, okay? So you pretty much put it down and then you'll get your thumb screws. And this bracket here, you can keep it on so you don't have to worry about, and I'm not gonna go in and tighten all the thumb screws, but you can put all the thumb screws in. You can keep that bracket on the whole time. It shouldn't um, deter you from putting it back into your travel case or anything like that. So as you have that, you can kind of see there but we're gonna show you how to put the flash on without your bracket. Okay, let's talk about, hey, I got a new base with the correct holes for my new um, pole system that has my flash. So now I just go up there. This can all be purchased from Pickbox. So you go on there and you grab your thumb screws and you get them all lined up in there. Okay, and there's four of them. I like to put all four in before I tighten it just so that they line up to the holes better. It works out real well. Okay, and once they're all in, then I'll give them a good tight. And once you give them a nice good tight, there is with our thumb screws, which is great, you do have the ability to use a tool on there to kind of give them a tight. I would, cause you're, this flash is heavy. So the more secure that you can put it to the base, the better for you, especially if it's a, maybe a, a long-term rental or if you have it, you know, and people are a little rowdy. So now you got it all there. We have our cord of course coming down. You can zip tie that as well. And then we'll get into how to hook up your flash to your camera. Okay, everybody, so we're back here. Let's talk a little bit how to hook up your flash. You can use any, some people use Alien Bs, got a Godot, so any flash hook up to your M50 camera. So we kind of have everything sort of zip tied in there just to make it clean. So you're gonna need a hot shoe. This is the one that we use, fits in nicely with the design of our booth. Okay, you're gonna have it hooked up here to your flash. And then what's great is you're gonna just have it hooked up right there to your hot shoe. It works flawlessly. We've did a lot of practice here at the uh, office. You guys are gonna love it. It syncs great with those softwares that you're gonna use on the market. And if you have any questions, let us know.